I know I look weird, but there's no reason to be scared. Ever thought of having the power to transform into any alien you want just with a simple touch? A touch that could change your life forever and allow you to protect the world from evil? Hello and welcome back to Cartoon Panda, where we travel back in time and peek into our favorite cartoons. Today, we are here with Ben 10 Classic. This series is about the thrilling adventures of a 10-year-old boy, Ben Tennyson. The story revolves around a watch-like alien device called the Omnitrix that Ben finds. This device latches onto his wrist, giving him the power to morph into 10 different alien species, each having unique powers. This newfound power thrusts Ben into the role of Earth's protector. On the journey, he has two key allies by his side, his cousin Gwen Tennyson and his grandpa Maxwell Max Tennyson. Gwen is an intelligent magician. Yanima Dynamica! <laughs> while Max is a former member of the intergalactic police force known as the Plumbers, who has vast knowledge about different alien species and their abilities. The list of main villains includes Vilgax, a feared alien warlord who covets the Omnitrix to create a super army. He has formidable strength, making him Ben's strongest enemy. Other recurring threats include bounty hunters Sissix and Crab, Kevin Levin, who absorbs energy for his own gain, and the High King Z-Scare, who has the power of invisibility, possession, and energy projection. Also posing significant threats are Dr. Victor, the Werewolf, and the Mummy, all serving Z-Scare, and the Forever Knights, a secret organization from the Middle Ages. Season 1, Episode 1 and then there were 10. The first episode starts with a thrilling space battle between two spaceships, one commanded by Vilgax. On Earth, in a city named Bellwood, Ben is eager for some summer break to begin, dealing with school bullies and starting a road trip with his grandpa Max and cousin Gwen. Arriving at their first campsite, Ben discovers a falling pod from the space battle and encounters a watch-like device, the Omnitrix, that attaches to his wrist and transforms him into an alien heat blast. Because things were new to him, he unknowingly sets the forest on fire, drawing attention to Gwen and Max. In space, Vilgots, severely injured from battle, finds the Omnitrix's location and sends a mecha droid to retrieve it. Back on Earth, Ben defies Max's instructions not to use the Omnitrix, transforming into another alien, Wild Mutt, and engaging in a confrontation with drones sent by Vilgax. Deciding to embrace the Omnitrix power, Ben transforms into Diamond Head to take down the mecha droid threatening the people at the campsite. The episode concludes with Vilgax vowing to destroy whoever is withholding the Omnitrix, while Ben, not acknowledging his new role as a hero, embraces his summer adventures ahead. Season 1, Episode 13, Secrets The following episode begins with a high-speed chase as police pursue a hijacked armored car. Ben, in the form of Diamond Head, successfully apprehends the criminals. Meanwhile, Vilgats watches the event unfold on the news and is angered by the heroic use of the Omnitrix. In another scene, Ben experiences a nightmare about the alien from his vision when he merges with Rojo as upgrade. Vilgats, having recovered from his previous injuries, decides to personally retrieve the Omnitrix. Lots of things happen. Ben is involved in a fast car chase. He also has to fight with mecha droids. Then, he has to face Vilgats. Vilgax. Vilgax manages to catch Ben and tries to take the Omnitrix off his wrist, but he can't do it because the Omnitrix has become a part of Ben's DNA. Grandpa Max reveals that he possesses advanced technology and knowledge about Vilgax. He, along with Gwen, launches a rescue mission to save Ben. Vilgax's ship crashes and Ben escapes in a fairy blaze's heat blast, while Vilgax is left behind in the explosion. Well, I hope he's taken care of for good this time. This episode ends on a cliffhanger as Ben, Gwen, and Max reflect on eventful experiences. Season 2, Episode 4, Gwen 10. This really exciting episode is similar to the first episode, but this time the Omnitrix goes to Gwen instead of Ben. The Tennysons encounter mass criminals at a gas station, and Ben discovers that he is no longer wearing the Omnitrix. As the story unfolds, it appears that the Tennyson's adventures have taken an alternate turn, with Gwen discovering the Omnitrix after a pod from outer space crashes onto Earth. But unlike Ben, she quickly becomes an expert at using the Omnitrix, transforming into various aliens and exploring their powers. Meanwhile, Vilgax, still hellbent on retrieving the Omnitrix, sends a giant mecha droid to Earth. Gwen, now as Diamond Head, 
fights and eventually destroys the Megadroid. Vilgak himself arrives on Earth and kidnaps Gwen in an attempt to extract the Omnitrix. Max and Ben manage to rescue Gwen, and during this struggle, the Omnitrix ends up on Max. They use the combined powers of the Omnitrix and their quick thinking to defeat Vilgax and destroy his ship. Season 2, Episode 13, Back with a Vengeance. In this episode, Kevin frees Vilgax from an icy prison abroad the Mega Cruiser, and they form an uneasy alliance to seize the Omnitrix from Ben. Meanwhile, the Tennysons are enjoying the wonderful Niagara Falls, where Ben discovers that he can now transform at will, thanks to the Omnitrix Master Control. The newfound freedom allows Ben to effortlessly switch between his alien forms, leading to a series of fun moments. On the Mega Cruiser, the uneasy partnerships between Vilgats and Kevin blossoms as they plot their approach. Ben's carefree play with the Omnitrix attracts their attention, and they make their move. A thrilling sequence ensues, with Ben, Gwen, and Max fighting against Vilgax and Kevin. Vilgax manages to capture Ben and forcefully removes the Omnitrix, but Gwen, displaying her quick thinking, manages to retrieve it. Vilgax and Kevin are trapped in the Null Void, while the Omnitrix is safely back with Ben, thanks to Gwen. The episode concludes with Ben trying to get back at Gwen, but ends up in a hilarious situation, since he had previously reset the Master Control. Season 3, Episode 1, Ben 10,000. This crazy episode introduces a time travel adventure as Ben and Gwen are whisked away to the future in the middle of Max's 60th birthday celebration. They emerge in a futuristic world, where they encounter the older versions of themselves, Ben 10,000 and Gwendolyn. Interestingly, their future versions are engaged in a desperate fight against Exoskull, sent by their longtime nemesis, Dr. Anemo. During the chaos, Ben and Gwen discover their advancements in their future selves. Ben 10,000 has mastered 10,000 alien forms, while Gwendolyn has learned powerful magic skills. However, they're surprised to learn that their future is not all about heroics. Ben 10,000 has become detached and prefers working alone, prompting Gwen to realize they've been brought forward in time to help Ben 10,000 adjust his attitude just a little bit. Among the multiple chases and fights, they eventually succeed in defeating their enemies, including a resurrected Vilgax. The episode ends in a heartwarming celebration of Max's 80th birthday, with Ben presenting him a birthday cake from the future, and Ben 10,000 deciding to take a day off to join the celebration. Season 3, Episode 13, The Visitor. The episode begins in an icy landscape, with two men discovering a strange pod, and alien named Xylene pops out, causing them to flee. Meanwhile, Gwen and Ben are enjoying the day in the park, when Xylene shows up, looking for the Omnitrix. Ben, as he blasts, and Xylene clash before Max intervenes, revealing that he and Xylene had a past together. Whoa. Xylene explains that Vilgax attack forced her to send the Omnitrix to Earth, where it inadvertently ended up with Ben instead of Max. A giant megadroid sent by Vilgax shows up and causes chaos. In a series of confrontations, Ben, Gwen, Max, and Xylene manage to defeat it, with Ben as forearms and later Diamond Head playing a critical role. The episode dramatically turns when Xylene reveals that the Omnitrix was meant for Max, not Ben. Ben, feeling betrayed, offers to return the Omnitrix to her. However, when Max is kidnapped by the Mechadroid, Ben and Xylene put their differences aside to rescue him. With Xylene's help, Ben transforms into a new alien form. Upchuck devours the Mechadroid and prevents a disaster. Ultimately, Xylene departs, but not before acknowledging Ben's bravery and asking him to take good care of the Omnitrix. The episode closes with Ben, Gwen, and Max continuing their adventures. Now, with a deeper understanding of their roles and responsibilities. Season 4, Episode 10, Goodbye and Good Riddance. The final episode starts with an airship hijacked by bird costume criminals, which Ben and his crew managed to neutralize. The end of the summer marks Ben's return to Bellwood, his hometown and dreaded school. Despite his reluctance, Ben keeps his Omnitrix a secret, even from his parents. Using XLR8, he tackles household chores and tries to increase his allowance. At school, he encounters bullies and rescues classmates from Vilgat's Megadroids, transforming into Diamond Head. Max and the police arrive, 
misconstruing the chaos as bring your grandfather to school day. Later, Vilgatz kidnaps Carl, Ben's father, demanding the Omnitrix. Ben, as Cannonbolt, rescues Carl and confronts Vilgatz, only to realize that Vilgatz's real plan was to wreak havoc in Bellwood. The city undergoes a massive attack, but the Tinians, armed with weapons, strike down the Mechadroids one by one. Ben, as XLR, joins in, revealing his alien abilities to the astounding bullies, Cash and JT. A strategic plan involving a gas valve results in Vilgat's defeat, leading to a truce between Max and Carl. Back at school, Ben gains respect, and even Gwen joins his school. But peace is short-lived as Dr. Anemo emerges with a menacing army of mutated animals, prompting Ben to activate his Omnitrix once again. The episode ends on a note of a new beginning for Ben. So, this was a brief overview of the Ben 10 series, highlighting some of the key episodes and their impact on the overall storyline. In total, the series has four seasons and 49 episodes, with three movies, nine shorts, and one special. Let us know in the comments which cartoon series you want us to cover next. Till then, goodbye!